Ooh, that's that big drip, big wrist, big body, big whips, big glock. What's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about life in high school. Um, back in high school, I used to wake up at 5.30 every morning. Wait on the bus for like an hour and a half. Because I used to get out the bathroom at like 6. Probably an hour. But the bus, and then the bus came at like 7.05 and then school started. First period started at 7.45. Um, when I was back in high school, like before the coronavirus and stuff happened. When we were in school, I only hung out with Lenora, Sierra, Natalia, and Julia. Um, I met Sierra in 8th grade, Natalia, and Julia in ninth grade, and then Nora in 11th grade. Um, but when we was back in school, like, it was crazy. Because we all... We all used to say, well, at least me and Lenora used to say, we not doing this homework. <laughs> you know. But then, like, the type of person that I am, I'm going home, being in my room for three, four hours, doing homework. Now, me, it's like, the way I was thinking about it, it's like, we got, you give us a homework assignment, then a week, le like, a couple of days during that week on Friday, you give us a quiz, and we ain't even get to go over or even in a week, you give us a homework assignment one week, and then we go over for that week, or the lesson for that week, and then you give us a quiz the next week. It's like, we ain't even go over it that long. How do you expect us to do a quiz, and we don't even know what we doing like that? You know, that's how I was thinking. Um, but... Back in high school, like, it was crazy because we used to be, like, <laughs> all of us, we was clowns. And I'm pretty sure all y'all can agree with me. Even though lunch wasn't a class, that was the most litest day in school. You ain't have to listen to no teacher. You ain't have to do anything. You ain't have to do no work unless you wanted to. But that was like, I guess you could call it your, your clowning off time. You know. Um, this, like, you know, I'm pretty sure all y'all can agree with me also. Like, y'all got friends that y'all stopped being friends with and then made up again. That's how it was with us. We stopped being friends and then we talked about our problems. Oh, that was going on. And then we are back friends now. You know, and then my niggas, <laughs> we, Lenora, Nora, Cece, Natalia, and Julia, all of them my niggas. And I love you out of death. Um, but all of us, when we was in school, like, it was crazy, because we, <laughs> like, there was one time, there was a fight that was going to happen. Me... CC Nora was in the lunchroom, and somebody that we knew was was about to fight somebody, another person that we that we knew but we wasn't cool with. <laughs> but yeah, um, when we was in school, like we used to be clowns. We used to be in the hallways during passing periods, talking. Amongst you, like, we used to see each other in the hall, we would talk like that. It was like lunchtime where we actually talked and did whatever we wanted to do. We felt like they set up our schedules in, like, a different route than we wanted to on purpose. Because 
I had a class with Sierra one year. Well, me and her, okay, backstory. Me and Sierra met eighth grade, second semester. Um, I met Natalia and Julia in ninth grade and Nora back in 11th grade. But after that, like in ninth grade or tenth grade, eleventh grade, twelfth grade, we felt like that they set up our schedules in a different route on purpose. Because in ninth grade, me and Sierra had a class together. I think like two, something like that. Tenth grade, I think we had the same exact class together. Eleventh grade, we didn't have any classes together. I don't think I had a class with either, with any of them, Lenora or Natalia. And then 12th grade, me, second semester, 12th grade, me and Natalia had a class together. It's like, well, me and Sierra had a class called Government together. And then second semester, I had a class with Natalia. It's like we felt like they set our schedule up on purpose to separate us. That's what we felt like, you know. <laughs> but that's how we was thinking back then. It's like, bro, how do we go from having classes together, dang near all of us having a class together, and then only one of us having a class together, you know. And then me and Nora had a, had chemistry together until second semester. Which and then they switched it, and then they switched our classes around. I had, we both had a uh, chemistry sixth hour first semester, and then sixth hour she went and had English eleven for sixth hour, and then I had Mr. Farnell the same teacher for sixth hour, and then I had the teacher she had for sixth hour seventh hour, and then she had the teacher that I had seventh hour for for or the teacher that I had sixth hour for seventh hour. It's like, bro, what is you on? We feel like they did that on purpose though. You know, um, <laughs> but back in, like I said, back in high school, we was the, I guess, <laughs> but back in, like I said, back in high school, we was the, I guess you could call it like, really like those the only people back in school, those were the only people I was hanging around. I wasn't hanging around nobody else. Mm. Like, you know, we was always cracking jokes in lunch. <laughs> I remember one time when we was in the lunchroom, um, Nora said the N-word, and the, I forgot what the hell you would call him, but he heard it, he heard it say it, Mr. Gordon, he heard it say it, and he was <laughs> Then he told her to come in. I guess he told her to don't say that again or whatever the case. But it was crazy. And then, like, when I was, as I had, like, a, a little speaker. And when I used to, after lunch, when I was going to health class, I think that was 10th grade. When I used to, when I was going to health class, I used to play my speaker down the hallway. And then the kids coming from gym class we was in the hallway and i was playing my music we was in gym class or they was in gym class and they was coming from the gym and they was dancing the music that i was playing man those was to be honest man i miss my dogs bro but nora nora i'm gonna see you soon Julie, I'm going to see you soon. Tally, I'm going to see you soon. Cece, I'm going to see you soon. I'm going to see all y'all soon. It's... I don't know, man. <laughs> Sorry about this, y'all. I'm just... Bro. Like... Man, but I'm going to let y'all know this. When... Whatever grade you are in now, continue. If you pass in your classes, I know 
it's harder now with this coronavirus going on. The online school um, is harder than it was when we was when we were in school. I understand it, but continue doing great in school. Continue doing what you're doing in school. You know, um, I'm rooting for y'all. Um, but just make sure you guys continue doing your homework. Study for your tests. Study for your quizzes so you can pass them. Make your parents happy, you know. Um, but, I don't know. High school, it was a, like, those four, four years, three and a half, whatever you want to call them, years of high school, they was all crazy. Your ninth grade year is going to fly by. Your 10th grade year is going to fly by. Your 11th grade year is going to fly by. It's that 12th grade, that second semester, 12th grade year is going to go by slow. Trust me. And they say, and everybody, and every senior says, oh, your senior year is going to be the best year of your life. Don't listen to them because my senior year was not the best year of my life. I can say out of my whole experience in high school, my best year in high school was probably, or years were my ninth grade and 10th grade year. Facts. <laughs> um. Because 11th grade, like, I had, I was taking geometry, passed it, thank you, Jesus. Um, I was taking a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't. And then 12th grade, I was taking algebra, too. I didn't know what I was doing. I failed both semesters, you know. I'm not ashamed to say it because I graduated now. But when I was back in Griffith, I failed both semesters of algebra, too. Because I didn't, I didn't take algebra one, you know, but... Everything happens for a reason, you know. I mean, when I was in eighth grade, I didn't finish pre-algebra. I moved classes second semester to a different math class. So, I mean, it's understandable. Um, But, again, make sure you guys make, do, make sure to do your work. Any assignment that they give you, make sure if it's due at the end of class, make sure you get it done by the end of class so you can sit there and relax before the end of class, you know. Um, if you got homework, right once you get home, do it so you don't have to worry about it. Because me, like, even me, like, I used to be the, like, I used to be the type to come home right away, go upstairs, do my homework. But again, we had, I'm not going to say we had lots and lots of homework, but we had I had probably, in each class, I probably had two things on homework. But one of them, I didn't feel like doing. So I stopped, and then I forgot that I had it, right? And then the next day, I was like, dang, I forgot to do my homework. Don't be like that. Make sure if you have an assignment that's homework, try to do it in class. Get some of it done in class. So you can relax when you get home and then do the rest of it when you feel like it or right once you get home. You know, get it done so you don't have to worry about it. Um, the test, make sure you study for your test. The quiz, make sure you study for your quiz so you can pass both of them. Just, I'm, I'm praying for y'all to do good in school, to do good in school. You know, I want y'all to succeed in whatever you're doing and whatever you set your mind to. I want you to accomplish that goal. Um, but <laughs> make sure you guys like the video, comment down below what other videos you guys want to see, and subscribe to the channel. I love y'all.